Hello, vlog world. It's been a long time. It's been a hot minute. Boy. Speaking of hot minute, it's like 40 degrees outside today. But Josh and I are going to the Rogers Cup. We haven't been in a few years and we got like a really good deal. It's like Shapovalov or something. He won the boys juniors at Wimbledon this year. He's Canadian and then I forget who else he's playing. It's like an Australian player, like Kigiros or something like that. I, I don't know. I said it wrong. I don't know what it is. Anyways, so it's at the Aviva Center at York University. So we are driving there now. It'll probably be rush hour, but what is? That's life. So we will see you when we get there. Made it to York University. It's really windy. And we're gonna walk there instead of taking the shuttle bus. Shuttles would get sucked up in all this traffic anyway. Yeah, true. They were really accurate and said it would take 902 steps to get to the Aviva Center. So, it takes about 15 minutes, but there's like tons of traffic anyway, so that's cool. So we're walking there now. There it is, the Aviva Center. It used to be called the Rexall Center. And then they changed it for some reason. I don't know. Wonder if they just run you over again. Maybe. When was that? A couple of years ago. That was like one of the no. We uh, yeah. Yeah. We were here and um, Djokovic was in a golf cart going to like a practice court and he like ran us over practically. Good times. Yeah. He also did lead us to like a secret match. Yeah. Him and Nadal were practicing. Badass. It was so good. Watching. From yeah, I was dying. Bad. Almost got his autograph, but not quite. <laughs> nice do rag. A sweat absorber, nine thousand. We got free scarves. So yeah, this is. I actually have no idea what this is. I don't know if this is what you're doing. Um, do whatever you want. Now we're just wandering the grounds because the day session is still going. Like it looks funny. Put it into like a headband. I just wear it like a hoo. <laughs> Looks like a nightcap. <laughs> Day sessions going, second set still. We got some hootie. <laughs> Only want to be with you. Asusa. You and your coach. And he's from Portugal and his first name starts with a J. So it's basically you. Is that him over there? That's Josh's tennis twin. First round match. Watching fault first fault. And Ref I don't know fault. if you can see this, but the guy's name is Jack Sock, and I think that's hilarious. So yeah, they're taking a little break now. Yeah. They're killing time. Suicide. Suicide, it's you. Yeah. With our tickets, we got free pizza and water. What did you get? Spinach, bacon, goat cheese? Yeah, mm -hmm. I got cheese. And we're waiting for someone to start practicing. Roger. Roger, Roger. Hi, good to see you. Going in now. Into our seats now, and we're so high up. We always go. The match starts soon, so we're excited. Thank you. 
first serve? I guess. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Nice guys, just about to get it. Oh. Woo! So, we overheard some people talking in line. But... Monday night, July 25th. Let him say First it. round men's yeah. singles match. Yeah. At your 2016 Rogers Cup with the Dubai Valley National Bank. Please welcome from Canada. He won the Junior Boys Tournament at Wimbledon. It's his first adult match. Who's this guy? Our faces of the day are National Bank, and Look at that flag. Okay, so, oh, my finger. This is Shapovalov, or whatever. And this is the Australian. I already butchered his name earlier. No Australian name is Yeah, see, you can't even say it. Look, there's a sky cam. So yeah, they're wearing the same colors except the Canadians wearing a hat. <laughs> He's 17 years old. It's crazy. Crazy. He's only 21. Nineteen versus three seventy one. He has a one loss record. Twenty six and ten. He advanced to his first ATP Masters one round event semifinals in Miami this year. Is that his first? Giant tennis ball makes my life. <laughs> kind of creepy. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Sky came here in my way. <laughs> yes!
July of 2016, the Junior Wimbledon title, and now coming back to your hometown, your first Masters 1000 win on center court. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, I've been playing the best tennis of my life, I think, and, uh, you know, again, thanks to you guys, I've had so much support for the past couple weeks, and just, um, I, I play with so much confidence and freedom just because of you guys, so thanks. <laughs> How critical was it for you not to just get that second ball to play but make the weapon? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Nick's a very good player, you know. I felt that if I wasn't putting the second shot deep enough or, you know, in the corner, then he would just start attacking me, so it was very, very cool. Dennis, my mind. This moment, this run, this opportunity to knock off a guy with Furios' talent. At a time where you didn't know what to expect from him, he was saying, I don't even want to be on the board. How did you get him? All of that, especially on the stage. Uh, I just tried to focus on myself. You know, I just told myself one point at a time. And, you know, I had some ups and downs in the match, and uh, I think I stayed mentally tough. And again, I love you. <laughs> 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 I spy you. Erotic. They used to love erotic. Is that how many times they've won this? Uh, maybe. Murray won this thing? Three times. Erotic once. Like, like, that's like 15 years. Oh, it's 2003. That's like erotic in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Once. Powerhouse, but like can't deliver when it matters. Erotic slash Steve Stifler from American Pie. Same Who's that? Yeah, Lendl? Yeah. I don't know who that is. It's old school. Old school 80s, I would explain why I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Ivan Lendl. He won a lot though. Cool. There's another Canadian player and we're ditching. That's some boring to watch. Yeah. What did you think? It's good. It's good. Shop a lot of. Shapovalov. Shop back. Shop back. You played really well, actually. Way too energetic. I know. Like 17 year olds, man. They have way too much energy. But yeah. It's so funny, though. At the beginning, the other guy was just playing with them. Just oh, yeah. He was just making them run spin. around. He was and like, right in the middle. Just didn't care. And, and then Johnny he started Depp. losing, and then. The yeah. Johnny Depp's. He started losing, and then he seemed to care. But yeah. He, he won. Shapovalov won. Knocked off the 11 seed. Yeah. Unranked. It was great. First men's singles. He won the. What do they call it? Wimbledon. Masters 1000. That's the level. Oh, I don't know. Um, 17 and being a master. A master. So yeah, there is another match on right now. They did kind of like a Cirque du Soleil like little intermission thing. It was okay. But when you've seen them in Vegas, it's kind of hard to compare say, anything else. When you see Sir come out with a stick, you're like... Yeah, mm. you're like, mm, and there's only three of them. It's still impressive, like I couldn't do it, clearly, but yeah. So we are venturing back to the car. There is another match on right now. We don't know any of the players, so we decided to dip because it's 9 o'clock. I'm not clear. What? I'm not clear. I know one of them. Oh, okay. Josh knows one of them, apparently. So now we're walking back to the car, and we're gonna go home. And we're gonna watch some Jason Bourne, the last movie. Supremacy? Supremacy? Ultimatum. Ultimatum? Ultimatum. Ultimatum. So yeah, may as well just end the vlog here, because we're just gonna be relaxing for the rest of the night. So, see you some other time. I don't know when, but when we'll we'll say go bye. see Bourne. Maybe when we see Bourne? Maybe. Yeah. You wanna say bye? Farewell. Ha <laughs> ha.